tells them that if you're going to be more successful and get to the next level, you've got to do some simple things hmm. that you may have forgotten along the journey All right now. because you've gotten so effective in what you've already yeah. done. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I apologize. I'm listening. I'm here for you. These simple suggestions to note that these who are already effective individuals can literally be more effective if they will simply adhere to these practical principles. And I suggest that what Goldsmith gives to us in his work is simply a reminder of what God has given to us in his word. Hmm. For in this passage of scripture that is before us today, God speaks to his servant, his son Joshua, and he tells him that you've come to a place now and you've had some success, some effectiveness in the place where you are. But you're headed somewhere else now. You're on your way to another level. And if you're going to get to the next level, you need to do what I tell you to do. Amen. You need to adhere to these helpful holy hymns that will assist you in becoming the more successful person I want you to be. Amen. Here is Joshua, who has been alongside Moses, his leader. For many, many years now, as they have made some strides heading to the promised land. He's been with them for generations that Moses' leadership had been significant and successful. He had moved them through some trying times. He had moved them through some ups and downs in their lives. And now, Moses has gone off the scene. And it is time for Joshua to lead the people of God from where they are at the edge of the promised land Amen. to where God wants them to be as they enter the promised land. Amen. Don't miss your shout you at the early part of the message. For the people of God are on the perimeter. Mm. They're in proximity of mm. the promised land. Yeah, yeah. They're not yet there, but God says you're on your way. Right. Mm. And if you're going to be more successful and enter the promised land I have for you, I need you to do what I tell you to do. Amen. And you will be successful. Right. Amen. Let me paint the picture for you a little more clearly with a contemporary flag. They're on the one yard line. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Family, this is a beautiful picture that is given to us for in the first verses of the text. 
You see something that is necessary if the Joshua generation is to move from proximity to possession. If we're going to move from proximity to possession, child of God, we need to understand that it requires mentorship that promises successors. Huh. It requires leadership, mentorship that, that, that promises successors. Successors, look in the very first verse, you'll see that Moses has been leading, mentoring this brother by the name of Joshua. He's been mentoring him. The Bible calls him his aid, his attendant, his assistant, his armor bearer. He's been the one who has been giving assistance to Moses throughout the years of Moses' leadership. Joshua has been walking with him and living with him and seeing some things in Moses that are to be passed down from Moses to Joshua. The only reason Joshua is ready to do what needs to be done as the baton is handed to him is because he has had a mentor who has been guiding him through the process of leadership development. Moses, who has been doing the great work of being the leader, the liberator, and the lawgiver of God's people. And now that he has done his job well, God says, since you've been watching Moses, I know there's something in you that I can use for you to lead the people to the next level of their lives. Church, that is the beautiful piece of the picture that is given to us in Joshua chapter 1 and verses 1 and 2 is this, that God did Success that Moses has had. Mm. 